Welcome to another unboxing. This is the Humix car mount for your phone. It is capable of holding two phones in one, so thick boys, so we kind of need this if we're using our DRS Designs phone case because that's a thick boy. Now, let's go ahead and unbox it. Should be pretty simple. A little security tape. Here we go, so that is part of it. Looks like it has a nice rubber texture to the sides. And I'll pull that out real quick. So we do have a little disc. This is for your dashboard. If you decide to put it on your dashboard, you're gonna put this down. Then you're gonna put the sticky on top of it, the suction cup, but uh, we'll see. And then we got a few more things and lastly there is a manual but it's a car mount why do we need a manual we don't so let's go ahead and look so this disc here has uh, some instructions on it don't know how well you can read it because it's legit black on black so it's kind of hard to read so when you're using it, take it out and just read the instructions that way. Um, pretty much it's just going to say, Hey, this is a single-use pad. Do not pull it off and reuse it. Find a flat surface. Use alcohol paper to wipe the surface clean. Put the pad on clean, flat surface and press hard. Usually it's about 30 to 60 seconds you want to press down on this. And then leave it for 24 hours then install the suction so the reason you're putting this on is because the bottom part here when you pull this tab off is a i it's like a putty i guess you can say so it has a better stick on surface than just the suction cup itself um so yeah we'll put that to the side for now they did give us a little mount here this mount is going to be for if you're going to use it through your vents on your car unfortunately i cannot do that with my car because my vents are below uh everything and you know it's kind of useless uh being down there so not useful for me but maybe for other people be able to open up i'm not sure let me check oh okay so nice it does have like a little clip there so I don't know how far you could all right that's as far as you could go um i was thinking maybe you could mount it on a table too but i don't think that's gonna work <laughs> when you know it actually does work on my table it, it will actually work it's because it does have little rubber pads on the interior so it does grip whatever it's trying to hold but moving on uh we're gonna get to the most important parts which is the mount itself so obviously you have a sticky suction cup here this is going to make sure everything is held down pretty well um, it's going to be movable it's got little settings where you can move it um, you could use this up on your windshield if you wanted to make sure you check your state laws see if that's allowed or not uh, so pretty much what you would do is just put it on the pad if you want, and then you're going to lock it in place, and it should stick for a long time. We're actually going to try it out too. Um, I'll do a video later on. So that's as far out as it goes. So that's probably roughly uh, from here over there. It's probably roughly 8 inches altogether from that point and then of course we have the phone mount here which has a s okay so I see how that works so pretty much you're gonna do you're gonna press the buttons on each side releases I don't know if it okay it you can press either button and it'll uh, make them both come out then you're gonna put your phone on you know lock it into place with whatever click you got and that should lock it in and then when you're done you're just gonna press the button and it's gonna escape it's gonna open up so, pretty cool then of course it is rubber textured on the sides here 
So you got rubber texture there, rubber texture on the back, and then of course on the bottom you have rubber texture. We are gonna have to test to see how thick this is. I don't know if it's gonna hold our VRS Designs phone case on here. I haven't been using it too much lately uh, just because I've been using the Semtech. One more thing is this little bottom part slides in and out. I should have noted that a little before. So all together, um, you should know how, to, how a car mount works. If you don't, I'll just show you real quick. So pretty much take the nut off, put this on like that. It's gonna snap. And then you're just gonna screw this on. Don't tighten it all the way. Uh, once you have everything set up, put it in the direction you want it to go. You know, if you want it upside down, you can do upside down. <laughs> you know, if you want sideways, you can do sideways. And then once you get your desired uh, angle, you can just tighten it all the way and it should be extremely good. So anyways, guys, uh, car mount, pretty nice, pretty handy, and it costs $27 on Amazon. So if you're thinking about getting a new car mount, uh, definitely try try the Humix uh, car mount. Um, like it says, pretty universal. You can put it in whatever direction you want to put it in. On the windshield, you can do something like that when obviously you want it upside down then. And then if you want to put it on your dash, you have the little pad. And then of course, if you want to try to use the vent uh, mount, you can do that as well. So it's universal for whatever fits you have. And then if let's say you want a work area, you could always uh, suction it to your table as well, which is a possibility. I have seen some people do that where they mount it on their table and just have their phone ready to either read text messages, take calls and stuff, and just so you don't have to hold the phone in your hand. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment. If you wanna buy this product, I will leave a link in the description below. Other than that, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.